apart from that whole situation, Logan and Mike are also under fire. Yeah. For something else right now. What I find is interesting is that Mike's role and kind of the reason he's kind of like started to appear is to kind of like control Logan. Well, but this, Mike's also a little bit kind in of like... In this video yeah. um, that we're about to talk about. So Gun Girl is what she's known as. I didn't know she was known as that because when you sent the text saying like watch this video and it was like Gun Girl, I didn't know who that was. But then I know who this person is. Yeah, I've seen them on so Twitter. There's a girl who's gone viral like a year ago and again... Caitlin. Like, yeah. Bennett. She's just, is that her name? Yeah, I think it is. I think that is it. Yeah. I, was, I, don't, I never want to say Bennett, though, because Chloe Bennett. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there so can she, be two Bennett's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's gone viral because she really supports the Second Amendment, um, the right to carry a firearm. Yeah, she's, like, very into guns. Yeah. She did a, she did a, had, like, a graduation photo or, like, a prom photo with her and her, I guess, date or boyfriend at the time, where they were, like, literally, she was in a dress, like, carrying, like, a massive like machine gun. yeah so she she's just very like pro guns um and they got her on the podcast about a year ago they kind of did this uh they kind of set her not set her up because they had a debate about guns she's very very factually backed up right well like, yeah i mean if if you're going to support if you're going to if you're going to be for guns and support you you need to have a, an argument right you need to know yeah. why you're doing that you can't just be like that's the thing with debates, right? Is like, especially even on, the, on this podcast, like, I don't know enough about anything. Yeah. <laughs> apart from maybe, maybe music. I'm to, like, to, to debate things. I just don't know. So mm. I, I, I try not to get involved too deeply into this type of talk. But and I feel like on that podcast, I think obviously she, with what she, with what she does, knows a lot about guns. You know, she's, she's very vocal online with interviews and that. So she must know her facts. But I feel like maybe then Mike and Logan would have not known as much on the other side. Yeah, because Mike, I mean... Mike seems to know, like, a bit. Yeah. Like, Logan stays quiet for yeah. most of that. But she basically, you know, came up with facts that Mike was like, oh, I don't think that can be true. And they fact-checked it, and it was true. And then a year later, she's gone viral again, and they've now deleted the podcast with her. Yeah, they, they deleted it on the podcast as on, well. Yeah, like, like, and they said, like, she's the only guest we've ever had that we, we're embarrassed to have had. Yeah. So then she's done a video now explaining that when she met them, they were both horrible, uh, breaking down some stuff. Like they talk about her harassing people at uh, the Pride March. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, they're like, oh, it just went viral last week. And she was like, the video was nine months ago. Yeah. So I, I saw her by going viral, not on the Pride March one, but she was going to universities and asking people certain things. So I think recently she's kind of blown up again. Yeah. And uh, like Mike says, you know, oh, this is a two minute clip. You should go watch the whole thing. I watched it last night. It's like five minutes. Yeah. And she's there like the video is 18 minutes. Yeah. So I don't know what Mike is talking about. And I don't know. I We're not going to go into like rights and wrongs of guns and firearms yeah. and stuff like that. But just the situation. <clears throat> who do you think is coming off worse here? Oh, it's hard because I mean, I, yeah, I don't agree with what she says, what she stands for. But I do think that if you're going to go on, a, if you're going to have someone on your podcast and you're going to make it your job to in, interview them and have the debate, you have to not only read up on the facts, but you have to like invest your time and yourself into the subject of what you're talking about. Because clearly, yeah. she is an activist in this, in her opinion, and she is very vocal in it. So she will be backed up. She will have what you know. Whereas. I, I, Mike could do a bit of research, but at the end of the day, unless he's like out there daily, um, you know, anti-guns or anti-whatever they're debating, I feel like you can't really have the same debate. Because did you watch the... Um, <clears throat> so Mike says... Sorry, I keep coughing. Yeah, sorry. Mike says that uh, she goes to that Pride March and she's harassing people and she's like le asking leading questions and stuff like that. Yeah. And she's there like, that's the opposite of what I'm doing. In fact, I was actually getting assaulted, getting pushed. Yeah, blah, blah, but then blah. again, like she's saying that, isn't it? So you, there's two sides <clears> to the thing. that. You don't know. And there's one bit in her video, which obviously she's showing clips of her. I'm not saying that she's not getting assaulted, yeah. but she's only showing that part, whereas yeah. there might be other parts. She might be assaulting them or yeah. aggravating them. Because there's one part where he, she's holding <laughs> the microphone to someone. This is what I was actually going to say. Yeah, is yeah. She's, so there's like a girl that runs into her and she's like, oh, I was pushed. And it's like, yeah. well, you weren't, obviously. And it's like, okay, I do feel bad. There's one where apparently she gets spit on. Yeah. Um, and it's like, it is, it is bad. But there is one where she's holding the mic in front of a guy and he goes, get that out of my face. Swats it out of the way and she moves it back. Puts it back, and yeah. He goes, he does it again. And I'm there like, 
you can't say that he's aggressive when you are sticking a mic in his face. Yeah, yeah. And there's also the one where the guy spits on the mic. Yeah. You don't know the prior... No, you don't know what happens. She yeah. may have gone up to him holding it in his face and he's looked at it and gone like, no, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I mean, spitting spit is vile, but you, do, you, is you vile. don't know what happened before that. You don't know if she's yeah. so, tried I, to make him look bad. I saw, her, I saw some clips of her on Twitter speaking to people at university about like whether it's good to put like sanitary products in men's toilets, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and I think she was trying, I think she goes to people asking very like um, confrontational, Le- leading. Sub- yeah, leading subjects to try and trap them and try and try and get them to have an opinion that fits her narrative. And then sometimes when they don't, I mean, to be fair, no, she, she doesn't actually, because she posts whatever, even if it looks bad on her interview yeah. with someone, she does actually post it. So I guess that's fair with what she's doing. But yeah, it does seem like she's quite aggressive with what she asks. So I don't know the full story. I don't know enough about her, which is why I don't want to, I'm not going to speak much about her, which is the same thing with Mike. Like maybe, maybe they shouldn't go that, that on the offense to her if they don't know how to back it up. Because she clearly has like backed up her points and showed how yeah. he's wrong, how, you know, Mike and Logan are being hypocritical in what they say to her than in previous podcasts. Um, so yeah, it's a tough one, really. I don't know enough about it, but because there's the bit she shows a bit where she's talking to a policeman, and the policeman lies and says yeah. you have to have a press pass, blah blah blah, and she and then she says I'm the one actually being assaulted, mm. and he says we've had a lot of complaints about you, and I'm kind of there like Logan said the phrase which I was, I disagree with completely. He said oh she's going to places and she's kind of being treated like she deserves. Yeah. I don't agree with that, but in my head I'm like, don't go there. Yeah. Like, if you're getting treated like that, don't yeah. go there. But then again, her, I guess her, what she's trying to do is trying to get a debate. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And, and if she doesn't go to those places, she's never going to get a fair debate, I guess. That, I, that is true. So I'm not, I'm not saying, like, she shouldn't be allowed to go there. She yeah, should, yeah. 100%. Everyone has, everyone has the right to. Yeah, but I think you have to go expecting that you're going to get those type of things done. Yeah, you? Or, you know, hire, hire a bodyguard. Yeah. So that yeah. you can actually film your video in, like, a normal manner. Yeah. I feel like I feel like she's gone there to try and get those clips. Yeah. To to prove everyone like, oh, you know, like this. Uh, I don't know. It's it's another weird one where I'm kind of thinking like I I don't agree with it, so obviously we are gonna be biased. Yeah. But it's a tough one, yeah. And I think I, I, I I'm actually like a not not necessarily like a fan, but I don't I don't mind Logan or Mike. I think Mike's a funny guy. But I, I think, mean they both come across as actually like quite cool yeah like, but i think they're, nice. they're, they're both very they're both very like vocal i think when you're that vocal you're gonna have yeah you're gonna you're gonna be in the wrong a lot yeah for sure and i mean i've, I've that. experienced that myself i'm very vocal <laughs> yeah, yeah. and yeah. i know i'm wrong a lot but never sometimes, sometimes but then then the, the issue it. is then the issue is sometimes you're not wrong i'm not saying you but i'm saying sometimes one right, you is not, not wrong i'm never not wrong <laughs> <laughs> but then you could be right but because uh because you you're very vocal and someone doesn't like the way you are vocal, they're then going to think you're wrong all the time. Which yeah. I think what is happening to her and Logan, Logan gets a lot of bad press for what he's done, when even if he's right, he's going to get treated like he's wrong because of prior things. And same with her. She could yeah. be having a very good debate because Mike has seen a clip on Twitter of her being, you know, out of line, say, he's going to think that's what she is entirely. That's why you should yeah. never, you know, judge a book by its cover. And for us as well, especially on this podcast, we don't, if we have a guest on, we're not going to interview them about what they're doing because we might not be educated on that ourselves and we can't talk to that person if we don't know the facts so yeah. why so why do that and that's why i think i think everyone everyone every podcast on the planet is like inspired by joe rogan you know he's like at the point at this, at this point the biggest podcast in the world um and you know he's he has a lot of very people on he has he has fighters because he's an mma guy he has uh he has comedians because he's a comedian he has politicians he, he has very good debates but he just seems like he tries to educate himself as much as possible i think the impulsive podcast tries to be the maybe modern version of or younger version of the Joe Rogan podcast without the research, to putting enough up. research yeah. in. Yeah, I feel like their podcast is on, is half. It's very like very fun because obviously they're very fun guys. They're very yeah. like uh, you know guy guys, I guess you know. Mm-hmm. So they can you know they they got a lot of opinions, but then I think they try and also then be very yeah, like when they stick correct. to the entertainment side. Yeah, they do it perfectly. Yeah, and then sometimes they veer into like the the knowledgeable side, and it's like. They can veer into it, but unless you are going to go all the way yeah. and like research everything, that's why we just stay away because we're dumb. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we always talk down on this podcast, but we actually really like this podcast. I, I think what we do is great because a lot of podcasts out there are too serious. 
Yeah. And I think I think there needs to be a podcast like ours where we just sit here, two idiots knowing nothing yeah. and just talking about nothing. <laughs> you yeah. Know? So I do think that's uh, that's great. I think that's why people like this one. It's just just chill, you know, in it. But uh, yeah, we definitely there's no yeah. I, I I don't know the world. Everyone has got, especially Twitter. Everyone has, is offended by things they don't know enough about. And everyone's yeah. got an opinion on everything they don't know about. Everyone just reads the headline and nothing else. I'm, one, I'm, I'm someone who reads a lot of headlines and doesn't read the article. But then I don't go and then have, I don't sling myself around being like, I know everything about this when I clearly don't. Well, that's one thing, um, Gun Girl, although I'm sorry, I'm just going <laughs> to have to say it. It's just easier. Yeah. Um, that's one thing she says is, she's like, everyone always assumes this of Logan because of X, Y, Z. But she was like, I'm not going to make my mind up about him until I've met him. And she was like, the reason is because everyone assumes that X, Y, Z about me. About me, yeah. Because she, she was and saying no her friends told me. her not to go on that podcast because he is this way. And she was like, well, that's what people think about me. So it's good for me to go and debate yeah. with him. And I fully agree with that. Yeah, I was yeah. literally there like, I'm not going to judge her. Yeah. I can, I can say like, I don't agree with, you know, firearms and stuff, but I'm not going to judge her until I, I'm not going to meet her, but yeah, until I have met her. And that's where I think they, like, Logan and Mike really messed up is because on the podcast with her, they were like, for, for, for example, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff she sat and stands for, but you have to hear her out. You have to hear the full story. That's what they, that's what they did by putting her on the podcast. It, was, it gives her a platform, gave her a platform, allowed them to debate back and forth. And they even said in the original podcast, you know, don't go and harass her. Don't, you know, don't, you know, yeah. uh, spit on, you know, like, you know, don't do all these nasty, nasty things to her. Which is fair. You should, that should not, no matter your whatever your opinion is, you shouldn't be treated that way. You should be given. You should be given your chance to speak what you want to speak about. However, then in their new podcast, they're like, "Yeah, she deserves everything she gets given to her." Yeah. I'm like, well, you just said a year yes. ago. I think that's my, maybe why they delete the podcast as well. It's very hypocritical. Yeah. But uh, I, yeah, it's one of the things where I I try not to anyway. I try not to judge anyone until I've met them. Yeah. You can you can judge like what they've said or what they did, but I. I'd regard that separately. Yeah. Like Logan's the big mishap. Mm. I'm like, yeah, that's one of the, that's like disgusting. That's like one of YouTube's biggest yeah. mess ups. Yeah. But him as a person, especially now I've, I've only met him twice, mm. both times. He seemed very nice. Yeah. I've, I've only met Mike for like 10 seconds. Seemed very nice. Yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, I have no like bad opinion. I saw Jack mate was like, he tweeted, he's like, I really wanted to not like Mike, but I met him and he's a really nice guy. I feel like everyone came, everyone on the UK side had that same thing. Cause yeah. Ethan, uh, obviously when JJ's fighting Logan, there was the whole like, there's like, because of those two, mm. there's like this miniature war happening below yeah. where it's like, ah, uh, you know, his team are yes, man, blah, 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 stuff like that. And then Ethan obviously did the Sky Sports stuff and he was working with Mike. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, yeah, I've got to be like he actually came back and just like away from cameras, away from everything, was like, yeah, I've got to be honest, Mike's a pretty sound lad. Yeah, well, it's because <laughs> everything we do, you know, say I, I, I do music, whatever, gaming, and blah, 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 that doesn't define who I am as a person. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing, no matter what, uh, Gun Girl, yeah. what, whatever she is about, shouldn't like take away her rights as a person, you know. So when you meet someone, you, you know, you know, it's like football teams, you know, you meet the op- op- opposing team manager. You, you you know you shake hands and like, like what's up how, how you doing treat your treatment as a person bit of a a risky question okay do you separate uh, like someone's work from the person like for example like Eminem has said says some awful things in songs yeah but do you kind of judge that as that's his work so you don't judge him as a person based on what he said. I mean, no, you can, you can, no, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't judge him like that. I, I would, if I, if I met him, if I met some, someone who I disagree with, who I, I, I would still like have to have a conversation with them. However, I do think that what they say does draw into their personality and what they believe. But then again, you know, everyone eats, right? Everyone shits. You know, so it's like, <laughs> end of the day, everyone's a person. So, but like, okay, so I maybe guess, maybe I guess it's leading pro- to, I guess it's leading to like someone like Michael Jackson. Yeah. If it was like, confirmed 100% he was a nonce. Right, yeah. Would you still listen to his music? Uh, like, do you separate the work from the artist? No. No, not in that sense. I think if it, it depends, if, if, if I've known they've done something like that, I would try and refrain from it. Because I think I'll separate like, it completely. Yeah, but it, you, you can separate it, but then you still, okay, you separate it because it is a separate entity because one, one thing, that, that's a creative piece of work. 
that's that song is not doing anything. That song is not doing bad to somebody. But then it's like the person who wrote that. Or, or if I think if I think of the song, say right, a modern example. You know R. Kelly. Yeah. You know Ignition like remix. Yeah. One of the best songs ever. Yeah. And I'm well, like, obviously now that the whole stuff's come out. Yeah. What's it about? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. So now I'm I'm, I'm I want to just vibe to the song. I'm like, oh, this song's gonna be ruined now. I still think it's a banger. I still think it's, I think it's a great song. However, when I when I listen to that song, I think of him. Then I think of what he's done. Then it makes me mad, you know. So I don't think I, I think I, you you're can't... there listening to ignition like, <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm angry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, they are separate. Maybe, maybe he didn't even write that song, you know. So that song on its own is a great song. But it's when I think of that song, it reminds me of him, and that's when I'm like, oh, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. When you think of Maybe say when you think of Logan, maybe if you don't know him as much or what he's done recently, you'll think back to what he did. Because that's the thing as well. Is like, if you judge it based on the person, then how long does it take for someone to change? Yeah. You know, like, because, um, what's his name? Y-N-W-Melly? Yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah I don't yeah, know if yeah. that's Melly. the right letters. At the, Why, the, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, he's obviously got his song out. Yeah. It's called Suicidal. Okay. But he did his original one that blew up. That, Murder on My Mind. Yeah. And didn't he then get arrested for that? What for? He was saying in that song. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. He got arrested for exactly what he was saying in that song. But I think he did the song before he did the act that yeah. got him arrested. So but, it's really weird. But then he was a person. You're there, like oh, like yeah. Well, I'll put it this way. I know, like for example, you know, the, you know the clips. Uh, so the clips are Pusha T and No Malice. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, they said in an interview once. I mean, I was, they, they're always talking about you know drugs. They're talking about like money, etc. They got interviewed once, and they were like, "Yeah, obviously we do live certain aspects of what we rap about, but mostly we're 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 entertainers. The genre of music we're in is that's what we talk about, you know. So I mean, you in in music you're supposed to entertain, you know. So sometimes you can write lyrics about certain things that never even happened, but you're rapping about it because that's the genre, that's the type of music you're making, you know. If someone makes a film about, say, like like Hitler, you know, they have to portray that era, right, and what he did in in. They're not, they're not, it's like your work is not your opinion all the time yeah yeah you have to be neutral but then again in your example of Michael Jackson that's like he's done something that he's done something you know and I, you can never take that away if he has yeah I, I, I don't know if he has but that's where I'm like the song doesn't to me in my mind I'm like the song doesn't reflect that yeah but it reminds like what I'm saying is it reminds you of yeah. the person right I think I think it's just like two different mindsets yeah of yeah because I'll, I'll like I'll happily say I'll literally listen to if I like a song I'll listen to the song. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 the issue with Michael Jackson, isn't it? People are like, oh, but his music bangs so much. Yeah, his music is great, um, and it shouldn't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's alleged. It's not yeah, that alleged. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't even watch that documentary that Neither went wrong. I. I, <laughs> yeah. I just see, I we ain't clued up. We don't do research. <laughs> exactly. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't we'll know what talk. I'm talking about. We'll just talk. <laughs> Can we talk about football? 